Hey everyone, so I'm going to give you a quick overview of kind of how a hot tub is hooked up. Um, this is my main panel inside my house. It's a Siemens panel, as you can tell here. Um, and you just want to make sure whatever panel you're running, if this is a new installation, um, you're going to want to use breakers that are compatible with your Siemens panel here. And I believe uh, GE and Siemens uh, breakers both work. Um, but basically what you want to do is, um, my hot tub is labeled here, and what I'm using is a double throw... Uh, 60 amp breaker. This is non GFCI. Okay, and um, basically what happens is you're running number sixes out of here, running up your panel if you're going up, you know, through your roof and to your attic to get to your um, hot tubs. But basically, you're going to run wire from that breaker all the way out to wherever your hot tub's going to, you know, exist at. Um, whether that be you know running it down through the floor or whatever, but basically um, you need some way right for to get power from here out to your hot tub and um, In my case, I'm using a 60 you might be able to get away with a 50 um, Depending on your tub, but this is going to be the very first portion of wiring up your hot tub And then um, I'll move to the outside to show you kind of where this wire from here is going to Okay, so we're outside here, and as you can tell, my wire here, it's the, the left pipe, um, that's coming out of my house down by my foundation. So the wire from that panel is actually going through my crawl space, coming out of my house, and it's coming up through this solid pipe into this box. This is a spa disconnect box, or they're just normally referred to as disconnects. Um, in here, it's hard to get the lighting, but standard, it'll come with a 50 or a 60 amp double pole breaker GFCI and this is standard when you buy this this box this box is, is called a disconnect you can buy it at Home Depot Lowe's or any electrical store it will not come with the conduit and anything else to get it up here so once you have your wire run you know you're gonna need a long enough whip um, or you know footage whatever you want to call it you're gonna need at least you know let's say 10 feet extra that's going to come out here because by code this box has to be five feet from the tub to the water line on the tub to meet code if you're not worried about code and um, you're just wanting your hot tub in a good placement um, then you know you're just gonna need enough to get it wherever it's easily accessible so this here for a hot springs hot tub is not ideal so this is a 60 amp, as you could tell inside my house, I was only running a 60 amp double pull. So I have a 60 here and a 20 here. Well, that's 80. So what's that mean? Well, that means this is more than the service that's the, the disconnect, or sorry, the, the breaker that's feeding it in the house. So this is gonna um, never trip, basically. The one in the house will trip before this one's gonna trip, okay? You're still protected by your GFCI, but this is essentially doing nothing. And what what this 60 amp and this 20 amp breaker, the ratings on these or the numbers do, is it protects the wires that are going to wherever the location is. Okay, so in this case, it's protecting the hot tub. The wire's going to the hot tub. The 60 amp is overkill. So I went out and bought a 30 amp. This is the correct one that's rated for this hot tub, and that will go in this slot where this 60 is currently. This 20 amp is the 110 side that feeds the tub. And that feeds basically everything in the tub. And here's the wire. So this is this goes to the hot tub. I have a whip that goes down over. I'll walk you over here. And that goes inside the hot tub here into this panel, as you can tell. So um that's that's the next step is basically I'll, sh I'll open up the panel for you and I'll show you you know what you're gonna need to do to wire your disconnect properly okay so we're at your disconnect box and what you're gonna need is just a standard old drill and you're gonna need for this particular box you're gonna need a flathead screwdriver to get these two screws out on the bottom the first thing you're going to want to do is dis make sure these are off. The one in the house is already off, um, but it doesn't hurt to make sure this is off as well. Safety first. Alright. 
And how this slides off is there's, um, you can't really see them in the camera, but there's two little knobs on either side, and basically it slides in between those, and then this panel will go in. So that's the same way it comes out. You pull it at an angle and it comes out. So here's our 60 amp, and you have two black wires in this case. Um, they're both hot, so one, 120 and 120 equals 240, okay? That's how you get your 240 volts. So what you wanna do is simply uh, use your flathead screwdriver again. Inside here, there's a couple screws in this particular uh, type of breaker. Um, and I might not have a small enough screw head to fit in there. I might actually have to get a screwdriver. Um, okay, so that's not gonna work. So what I'll do is, um, you can these just simply pop off. You just kinda pull them at an angle. This won't harm anything. I can kind of show you what's going on here. So you have a hot and a hot, that's your 240, and you have this neutral. This neutral line goes to your neutral bus bar here. And it's as simple as that. This runs your 240 on your hot tub. Um, this 20 amp breaker is your 110. So you have a black wire, which is uh, 120, and you have your neutral, all right? And this neutral here and uh, this black wire are going through this piping down below and into your hot tub. Okay, that's actually, this is feeding your hot tub. Same thing with these. These two blacks are feeding your hot tub. The white wire, the reason why this is going to your neutral bus bar is on this 20 amp breaker, you have this pigtail as well, this neutral, and that's coming to your bus bar. So everything on the neutral side is tying into one location. So in theory, if something was to basically um, Power is going to be feeding into the tub on this black wire on your 110 side. It's going to come into your tub and it's going to come back out because it's AC. So it's going to come out on this 110 side. What this does is basically it checks through the breaker to verify that let's say you have 122 here or whatever your actual voltage may be and you have 122 coming out on this side. If you had an indifference, it'll trip your GFCI portion on your breaker. Okay, same thing with this one. It uses the neutral and it ties in here and it'll trip the GFCI on the breaker. So that's the functionality of that. Um, swapping out, like I said, these wires to go to this one is really, really simple. All we're gonna do is take these two black wires off and put them in the two spots that have uh, screw holes here for this GFCI breaker. And then we're just gonna take the pigtail that's um, labeled silver here on this screw and that's gonna, this wire here basically, is gonna go into the neutral bus bar. And that's it, there's not much to it. Um, hopefully that helps you guys kinda understand how it's working. Um, the only thing on this particular tub that's run off this 220 volt going to the tub is the heater from my understanding. If you were to just turn this on, it'll allow you to run the pump, uh, sorry, the jets, um, which is the pump essentially, and then all the controls. So. Um, you can run these independently of each other. If you turn this on, basically what will happen is most of everything will function. The lights, everything I've tested will run off this uh, 20 amp breaker. You just will not be able to heat the tub. So um, hopefully that helps you guys. And as always, appreciate you for watching.